Thank you for visiting Rock My Edits, and today I'm going to show you how to use the twinkly eyes. This action can be, can be purchased a la carte, or it can also be found in the Rock My Makeup or Rock My Wedding Collection. This action is really great because it does not only make the eye sparkle, but it also adds some catch light into it, which takes you a step further than a lot of those eye actions found um, by competitors. So we've developed this to be a very complex action. With that, there is the necessity for it to be a flattened image. If you don't want to flatten your image, please just make sure that you click on the background layer within your layers palette before running. You can get errors without doing either one of these things. I highly suggest starting with a flat photo, but again, if you absolutely must not, then please click on the background layer before running it. If you run this action and some crazy things happen to your photograph and it colorizes it, that means that you did not start on that background layer. So you'll have to undo what you have done and make sure that you flatten or click on the background layer. Once you're there, you can click on play. Many things are going to happen to this image, but you'll see nothing. What you have to do to see any changes is click on your paintbrush. Make sure that you have a white color selected in your palette. Make sure that your opacity is at 100% and your mode is normal. Once you've done that, you can start with the first layer, which is the twinkle. This is what gives our action uh, so much splendor. You need to get a brush the size of a pupil and click on each one of the pupils. You can turn the opacity of this up. We do have this one down a bit, but it is at a, set at a great uh opacity for regular colored eyes, you may want to turn this up a bit if it's very dark to black eyes. Once you're done with that layer, you can move on to the sparkly eye. This is set at a high opacity so that you know exactly where you're clicking. Once you're done with the, uh, setting it on the pupil, you need to turn that down. I like to keep it somewhere in the 30% range. Next, you can go over to the white and eye. Again, you must be on these layer masks. If you do something on these layers and nothing happens, the reason can be because you have not clicked on the layer mask, or you do not have a paintbrush, or you do not have a white paintbrush. So please make sure it's a paintbrush, white, mode is normal, opacity is 100%, and again, you're on the layer mask. Once you do that, you need to select a smaller brush for the whites and paint in the whitened areas of the eye. This is not always a necessary step for photographs. It's not something I do every time, but it is a great uh, tip for something that needs a bit of a brightening. I like to turn this down pretty low somewhere in the teens. You do not want to make these eyes look fake at all somewhere around 13 to 15% will do. The last layer is for large amounts of sparkle. Sometimes you may have a photograph that's just not sharp enough and needs a little extra kick. You can use this second layer of sparkle. Another great tip for using the sparkly eye is to click back on the layer mask itself, changing the opacity of your brush somewhere fairly low in the 30s, and using it to run over the lips as a gloss. Another great tip is to use it on the eyelashes under the eyes. Again, this should be at a fairly low opacity. So here is the before and here is the after. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you here so that you can see. Again, here is the before and here is the after. So hopefully you've learned a lot from this. I thank you so much for watching and please join us again at Rock My Edits.